Why does the US-Soviet alliance break down in 1945? Biggest regressions answered in less than 60 seconds. There are three reasons why the Grand Alliance breaks down at the end of the Second World War. Firstly, trust, or the complete lack of it. By 1945, there is a complete lack of trust between the Allies and the Soviets. The Allies had promised to invade Western Europe in 1942 and 1943, but they hadn't. And the Soviets had promised to hold democratic elections in Poland when they took it over, but they hadn't. Secondly, goals. Very different ones. The two sides have been united between 1941 and 1945 because they had the same goal, to defeat the Nazis. But now that the Nazis are defeated in 1945, both sides want different things. The Western goal is to make Eastern Europe as free as possible to limit Soviet power. But the Soviet goal is to turn Eastern European communist. They want a buffer to protect themselves from future invasion. Thirdly, fears. The Allies are scared of communism spreading into Western Europe. They want to protect their freedom and rights, which are two things that communism is not really that big on. The Soviets are scared of another invasion from the West. The Nazi invasion killed one in seven of the Soviet population, and they expect the West to invade the second it gets the chance. Subscribe to my channel for more biggest questions answered in less than 60 seconds.